friends, my name is Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a slightly different video as I don't normally do whole videos on this channel but since I am branching out and doing more vlogs I thought it would be fun to show you guys what I got in Disney World last month. I love watching these hauls, I love to see what sort of stuff is around and since it's only been about a month since I bought all this stuff, a lot of this stuff should be available in Disney World. So yeah, I thought I would show you, I thought we could sit and discuss the trip because it was wonderful and yeah, we can share in my love of all things cartoony, Animal Crossing, Nintendo, Cartoon Network and of course Disney. So let's go ahead and show you everything. To start off with, I have so many hats. I mean, I didn't buy too many this time around, but normally a person would probably buy, what, one hat? But I got three. <laughs> so the first one I got is from Pandora because I fell in love with Pandora. I fell in love with basically the whole of Animal Kingdom when I was there. Um, it's been five years since I went to Disney World, so the last place I went was Disneyland Paris, but when I went to Disney World, I went ahead and went to Pandora and ah! This hat is so awesome. I, I, I specifically went in one day to buy it because uh, I've been eyeing it for so long and it's got these awesome colours, this really awesome green and this awesome beige colour. Of course it has the little avatar ears which I just think are adorable. Um, not sure why I'm going to wear this in real life but I just think it is the most unique, incredible little baseball hat and I just love the, everything about it basically. Pandora was incredible. I read five passage like two times I think and it was so good so yeah I got that one so uh, <laughs> yeah I also got one more cap I got this one which is from Kilimanjaro Safaris in Animal Kingdom another Animal Kingdom thing uh, Animal Kingdom is actually my favorite Disney park in Disney World I just love it so much like Kilimanjaro Safaris is my favorite ride from the trip I think cuz uh I don't know I just went on it so much and really enjoyed it so got a Kilimanjaro Safaris hat with Animal Kingdom on the back and this was probably one of the more expensive things. I don't know why but this cost more than this hat and uh, I don't know I only saw it in like one place so I just picked it up because I was like I like it. I, I just really like the colour as well. It's kind of a similar sort of green colour so love that. And I also got something classic. I wanted to put these on my Disney shelf. I have a Disney shelf just up there. Maybe I'll Maybe I'll do a room tour one day. Um, but there's a Disney shelf up in my room. I have an old pair of these that I have, which is like the modern Mickey ones. I have like a board that my friend got for me that I've got loads of Disney quotes on. Um, my Disney mugs. I'll show it one day in a video. So uh, anyway, this is for that shelf. It is the regular old like Musketeer hat. It says Walt Disney World on it. But I went ahead and got it personalized so I can have it on my my uh, shelf up there and it could like be a nice little decoration so it says Emma on it of course in the like classic writing they do have different styles but this is always the one that I've loved seeing people have um, is it backwards in the video I don't know it might be um, but it says Emma on it <laughs> and uh, yeah I didn't really wear these I just bought them for decoration but normally if I would wear them I guess I would wear them like on the back of my head like this <laughs> so there, they're super cute. And those were all the hats that I bought. I'm a little obsessed with wearing hats, but uh, it's super fun to wear hats. I just love it. Alright, so every time I go to Disney, I say to myself, Emma, only buy one toy. One teddy bear, one plushie. If you guys know about my past, I used to collect plushies. I kind of went crazy with them so uh, I try and only buy one every time that I go and so this is the one I picked out from this trip again another Animal Kingdom related thing it's Duffy I love it um it's like Safari Duffy with this hat which is like a hard hat <laughs> I love it and uh just reminds me so much of of Animal Kingdom which honestly was my favorite I went there so much and I stayed in the Animal Kingdom area as well so getting to Animal Kingdom was so easy uh, because I stayed in All Star Movies, it was like a 10 minute ride to Animal Kingdom. It was literally right around the corner. It would be the place I would go if I was trying to go to like another place that my hotel didn't have the bus stop for. So yeah, he has all these cute details on him. He's got like the Mickey on his butt. These really cute shoes. Everything is just really cute. Uh, I collect the fees. I have a regular old one from the Disney store with a couple outfits. He's on my bed. It's pretty much... Oh. I pretty much bring him everywhere so this is the original one that I have and he just sits on my bed all the time so now I have two Duffies 
And I also have a third somewhere, which was like the original one that I bought. Because I fell in love with Duffy from before they came out with them in England, and then they got rid of them like pretty quickly. But uh, I have another Duffy that's from the 45th anniversary of Walt Disney World, so yeah, I think that one's oh, like in storage right now, but these are my two new ones. And this is once again for that Disney shelf, because he looks just like a really nice display piece. And uh, he's in really good condition, because I'm not really like putting him on, on my bed and displaying this one. So I got that one. I also got a couple of like freebies. I mean, this wasn't a freebie because I bought it, but um, you can get these resort mugs with your Disney dining plan. I didn't have the Disney dining plan because I didn't see the point in paying for all the snacks that I didn't really want. So I went ahead and bought my stuff individually and it ended up being cheaper because um, I wouldn't have bought like that many snacks a day. I just have smaller meals. I don't need the size that the Disney dining plan offers, but I did want to buy this cup because it's only $20 for unlimited refills for like the two weeks that I was there. So uh, of course I got this. I got and had, I had a drink every single morning. I had a drink every time I got back and it saves you like the $3.50 it costs for drinks. And I did buy drinks in the parks on occasion, but this was just great to like keep hydrated in the day and you know, I had to go and get buy water because the water in Florida does not do good things for my stomach. I, I just was not used to it. So uh, water, Coca-Cola, juice, tea and coffee, whatever. Goes in this mug. And then I also have my magic band. This is my first ever magic band because I've not been to Disney World since they started implementing them. Um, and it's just this grey one. I started putting these stickers on it when I got home because I bought them before I left. And then I forgot to bring them with me, but they are like sort of Lilo and Stitch theme because Lilo and Stitch is like my favorite Disney movie. I guess you can't really see it. Can I go like this? Huh? <sighs> no, it just focuses on my hand. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Look at that pro. So yeah, it's just a magic band. You use this to get into the parks. It has my tickets on it. It has money on it. I think you can use it to pay for stuff. And I did connect up my card eventually. So yeah, I like that. And that's my first like magic band, so it's super special. And I got it in grey, as it goes with everything, so great. <laughs> Alright, and then the last load of stuff is just some apparel, just some clothes, um, but there's some really nice ones. So this is a children's t-shirt, but it is the 2018 Discover the Magic t-shirt. It's pretty big actually, I got it in extra large because I thought that would fit better, because the large was quite significantly smaller than the extra large for the kids. Um, but I probably could have gone for a large, to be honest, but it is this shirt, it has Mickey and Pluto on the front, and then Goofy and Donald on the back, and it has all the parks, and the thing I love about this is that it says 2018, so uh, it kind of marks my first adult trip to Disney World, which I love, and I'm sure I will be taking many trips back there, or to Disneyland Paris in the future, I'm already thinking of returning to Disneyland Paris soon. Oh. I really want to go. Um, it's a lot cheaper to go to Disneyland Paris than it is to go to Disney World from where I am, so I really want to go there again. Something else I got was on like my second day I was there. It was the only one in the Emporium, but it was in my size, which is perfect. Um, I got this jumper. So uh, yeah, I just love this like style with the like compass on it. I just think this is really cool. Um, they restocked these like the second week I was there. I saw a million of, of them in like Animal Kingdom in Island Mercantile, but I still went ahead and bought it anyway because I knew that I wanted it from seeing it online. So it just has all the parks on the front, it's this grey hoodie, and it's just like a really minimalist like style. And then it has Mickey Mouse on the back in this compass. I was so close to buying the hat with the compass on the front, you guys have no idea. But uh, honestly this is so good, I love this. Yeah. I think it was like $45 or something like that. Uh, I don't know the prices for all this stuff, but it's all pretty standard for what it is. So if you see other hauls, then you might figure it out. <laughs> um, and then the last thing, because I didn't get too many things, was this. I got it from the Canadian Pavilion, and it is a spirit jersey, and it was on sale. And it cost me like $45 instead of like $60. Um, it was like $40 maybe. But it is a Canadian spirit jersey. I went to Canada in the summer and I wanted to get something to commemorate it but there wasn't a lot of stuff in actual Canada that said Canada on it. There was a couple of things like flag magnets and stuff but 
I knew I wanted to get the spirit jersey from the Canadian Pavilion. There are two ones. One of them is like a Disney one and one of them is this one, which is just a regular one. So I might go back and buy the Disney one as well, but I just wanted the black one because I thought it was very like nice. So I got this. It has the little maple leaf on the front, which Canadians have on literally everything, um, which is really cool. And then on the back, this is the best part. It says Canada. So yeah, I wear this a lot. I think it's really cute. Um, I got it in a small, but the small is actually quite big. Maybe I should have got an extra small, but um, I do like things a little baggy, so it's really cute. So that is all the stuff I bought from Disney World, and honestly, I had such a good trip. Um, if you're on my Instagram, you might see a couple photos. I went crazy seeing characters because, honestly, characters are my new favourite thing at Disney World. As a teenager, I just didn't really want to see characters because I thought I was, like, too cool for that. But, uh, now as an adult, they are my 100% favourite thing. I have so many good memories from this trip. I went to Ohana and saw, like, my favourite Lilo and Stitch characters. And I went to Garden Grill and, honestly, Garden Grill was so good. Me and my sister were sat in the section where we were the only ones there. And so the characters spent quite a bit of time with us and multiple of, like, Many of the characters were together, so uh, it was really fun. They were like playing with each other, and oh, the characters are honestly my favorite thing. And when I was in Animal Kingdom one day, I think I saw like eight characters in the same day. Um, so good. So uh, if you want to hear more about my trip, or you just want me to like sit and talk about it, like I would love to do like a, a video talking about my summer and how it went. Because um, many of you may know that I went off and went on some adventures, but uh, I haven't really talked about it in too much detail. I just did that quick update talking about. Uh, where I was but not like what I did um, but yeah that's one thing I did I went to Walt Disney World and these are the couple of things I purchased it's gonna go well in my little room uh, they're displaying pretty well I think it looks really cute so yeah thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the very next video